Do you think that setting up a code reading application is complicated? Not at all, if you have the right camera. With our new compact camera, Cymatic MV530, it's easier than ever before. You can use it right out of the box and there is no need to configure anything. It's already fully equipped with all the required accessories. For example, an optimized lens and ring light for enhanced depth of field. Only a few quick steps and the MV530 camera will read the code. I will show you how to do it. We have set up a code reading application. The MV530 is already mounted to the right position to recognize and read the code. We also have a Cymatic PLC controller here. Both are already powered and the camera has booted up. Now I press the read button and you can see the red light coming out of the camera. This red light indicator is a signal for us that we can place the code we want to read in front of the lens. So I will do it now. I have a little tripod here. And here we have the code we want to read. Now I press the read button again. And the camera starts to take pictures using different lighting and exposure combinations and various software algorithms. This procedure is an automatic parameterization. It's complete when the RS LED switches to green. The camera has now stored the successful parameters in its non-volatile memory and switched into the run mode. It means the camera is ready to read the code. I will now plug in the Profinet cable and connect the camera with the PLC. In a production environment, the PLC often controls the movement of the products on the conveyor belt. So, the PLC knows precisely when the product with a code appears in front of the camera in a position where the camera can read it. If the code is in such a position, the PLC sends a signal called trigger to the camera and the camera responds to this trigger by sending back the read results. That's all you have to do on the reader side. The camera can now read this type of code in a production environment. And now I will show you how easily the camera is integrated into the PLC. To get the triggers and send the read results back, we will use two function blocks from TIA portal. The first one is called init and it activates the connection between the PLC and the camera. The second one is called read. When the PLC wants to start a code reading, it will activate the camera. The read results are available immediately. And that's it already. Wasn't that easy? Find out more about optical readers on our website.